A big mission ahead for those astronauts aboard the International Space Station. They're expected to be there for six months. The mission includes experiments and spacewalks to update the space station and repair the exterior. Leroy Chow now. He's a former astronaut, International Space Station commander. It's so great of you to be here. Thank you. Great to be with you. How hard is that initial transition? The tr initial transition into space, you know, the first time, it's a little surprising. You're instantly very dizzy. Uh, you get a full-headed feeling from the fluid shift. You're a little disoriented, but uh, with each subsequent flight, uh, the transition gets easier and easier. Once you get up to the ISS, uh, it's exciting to get the hatch open and go inside, uh, see how big it is, and, uh, and uh, you know, reconnect with your buddies that have been on the, the station for a while. I I've always wondered, we've talked before, but I've always wondered, what do you do when you're not working? I mean, you can't work every second of every day. What, what are you doing? You're scheduled pretty much down to the minute, including your breaks, and, and then after work like what hours. What do you do on a break? I mean, it's not like you can go catch a movie or go to the Dairy Queen. <laughs> Well, you know, we do have a good movie library on board. We got a lot of DVDs and things like that. Uh, we do have some snacks on board, so you can have a movie night here and there uh, once you're off duty. But uh, yeah, the workload, you know, it's your, your, your schedule is planned down to the minute, but you do have free time at the end of the day. Japanese astronauts up there as well. How does the communication work and, and how does that, how is that camaraderie built and, and how important is it? Well, it's very important. Of course, a crew has to be cohesive. Uh, crews are not just thrown together at random. The Russians learned early on that that doesn't work. You've got to put crews together thoughtfully. You've got to give the commander a lot of input on who is on the crew. And so different cultures make it very interesting and very rich. I was fortunate enough to fly every one of my missions with international astronauts, Japanese astronauts, Russians, of course, trained with Europeans. And it was a great experience. And we're all flyers. And so we have yeah. that common bond and we instantly can, can kind of communicate with each other. Are you jealous when you see them up there or have you had enough? You know what? I'm very happy for them. I've spent yeah. uh, over 229 days in low Earth orbit. So it's kind of like eating a big meal. I'm still full. But if I had a chance to go to the moon or to Mars, uh, you bet I'd jump at it. Leroy Chow, you're the man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.